Hey everyone, my name is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. I've been working in the industry for about 15 years. And today we're going to take a look at uh, some duct tape fashions, how to make them. Let's get started. So the one thing that we know about duct tape is that it's extraordinarily sturdy. Um, so in order to create duct tape fashions, all you need is a big thing of duct tape and a stencil. Some sort of a uh, pattern. Um, in this case, let's, uh, let's just say, for example, if you were going to create a duct tape wallet. Well, I would say take your regular wallet out and, you know, kind of copy the dimensions of it. And in this case, I'm just going to cut right through that. So if you have your duct tape wallet, you know, just kind of copy the dimensions. We are about, uh, I'd say about that thick. Just going to cut that piece off there. So I was a little big eyeing it up. I recommend you use a ruler for this as well because as you can see my my quick eyeing it up is not doing very well but anyway so this would be the outside and then you'd create uh, cut out another piece that was the same size and all you're going to do is you're going to grab your duct tape and you want to make sure you use uh, uh, I'm actually going to take my cutting board and pull it out here you want to use pieces that are a little bit longer than your pattern and cover your whole pattern front and back with with duct tape and the easiest way to do this is just line it up and then you can stick the duct tape actually to your table if you have one of these uh, uh, you know formica tables one of these tables that's not going to uh, uh, permanently mess up the table I wouldn't do it on like you know an old sort of antique wood table but if you just have one of these like you know cheapy kind of uh, tables like a lot of time craft tables are made out of this nice smooth uh, material and you're just going to cover the surface with some duct tape and once you have that done uh, you're going to flip it over and you're going to cover the other side also with some duct tape just do one of these bam okay there it is and now we can lift it up and you'll be able to feel already that already your pattern is a little bit sturdier than it was to begin with, than just like a regular piece of paper. But you can do this with regular paper. You can do it with cardboard if you want to make sure that it's extra sturdy. And you're going to cover both front and back with the duct tape. Uh, and then when you're all taped up, just go back to your cutting board and trim off any excess that you might have. Now it's going to be a lot easier to trim off the excess when you have the sticky side uh, covered in the second layer of duct tape, but I'm just doing this to show you. Um, and then what you do is you take your second piece of material, because remember this is only one side and if we're making a wallet you want to take your second piece <laughs> and lay it on top of this first piece and then take your length of duct tape and uh, fold it over the side and tape the two together and then you you have your basic uh, your basic workings of uh, in this case it would be a duct tape wallet so that's a real simple way to make duct tape fashions uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions please feel free to ask